cue balls. It's been a debated and somewhat mysterious topic for a while now. Specifically, how do the handful of different cues that you encounter out while playing matches measure up and perform on the table? Players almost always have an opinion about why various cue balls behave as they do, and interestingly, these opinions often conflict. So that leaves us with the following questions. Are they really any different? What are those differences? And how do they affect your game on the pool table? This is the Seeking Gravity Cue Ball Comparison. We had the cast play each ball back to back, providing immediate contrasting feedback, along with their thoughts on what differences they thought they were able to detect. Second, to determine what cue ball each player preferred. And lastly, we'll measure each ball and provide the true numbers because we know that's what everyone's looking for. Will these numbers correlate with the player impressions? We'll find out. The cue ball lineup is as follows. We played both a black and red Aramith measles ball because you know, we had them. We played an Aramith super pro, an Aramith red circle, a Cyclops red dot, a standard unmarked ball, and then the classic fan favorite, <clears throat> oversized coin op. Now, the expectation of a quality product is that all of the object balls and cue ball weigh exactly the same, or within one tenth of an ounce tolerance. Most sets weigh in at roughly six ounces. If a cue ball weighs even the slightest, more or less than the object balls, the resulting path of the balls after contact will not behave as designed or expected. As these variances increase, so does the adverse collision behavior. The basic testing included stop, follow, and draw shots, along with cut shots that allow the cue ball to hit a number of cushions to judge how the ball traveled around the table. Now, we all noticed simply taking the time to play all the cue balls back to back allowed us to acquire a fine sense for the differences. Though there were some that stood out from the rest of the pack in terms of performance and behavior, we were also surprised to discover how similar most cue balls actually did play alike. Based off of our plane evaluation, we came up with what we consider are the characteristics to grade the cue balls on. You may have your own judging criteria, but we found this clear and defined characteristics to measure and thus form an opinion. Agility. The ease to spin and move around the table. We would consider a cue ball with high agility the tendency to feel a bit lighter and speedier around the table. Stand-up performers were the Cyclops and the Red Circle. We'll find out soon if the size or weight are a factor in this. On the opposite end of the spectrum, the oversized coin up performed like a bowling ball. Without measuring, it was clear to see that it was both oversized and heavier than the other cue balls. Consistency. The predictability of overall performance and precision. Simply, the ball behaves and settles right where you imagined it would. The consensus was that all Aramis provided the most consistent and expected reaction. The Cyclops and Red Circle feel a bit lighter around the table and are a bit harder to predict how the spin will take it to its resting place on the table. And finally, cling. How prone is chalk likely to stick to that cue ball after a strike? The more chalk cling, the more kicks and skids and other inaccuracies that are likely to occur. Widely known by most established players, the Cyclops cue ball really shines in its ability to withstand chalk cling. All their balls required much more cleaning to keep pace with the Cyclops. This is where we should also point out that no matter what cue you're using, you should take a moment to wipe the cue ball off between racks and any ball in hand situation to avoid any bad contacts between cue and object ball. Now let's get to the player preferences. When it came to the cast selecting a preferred ball, all but one selected the Aramith measles ball citing overall consistency and precision being the primary factor. The fact that it has dots on the ball and provides instant feedback about spin applied was quoted as a bonus by all players as well. While a couple players even felt the dots helped visual contrast when aiming for the next shot. The other one player selected the red circle as their preferred ball, stating it was the one that they are most used to playing, therefore the most comfortable and dialed in with. Now, we measured both size and weight with accurate digital tools. We are charting these in order from lightest to heaviest, with its size sitting right next to its weight. Remember, it's quoted that most top performing balls are right at six ounces. But as we found with measuring three different sets of object balls, that number's more like 5.93. Ideally, cue balls should weigh exactly the same for the correct and consistent reaction. Lightest was the Aramith Red Circle at 5.64 ounces and 2.21 inches. It was easy to guess that this ball was the lightest. Being a quarter ounce lighter than the object balls, it felt easier to flicker on the table. Next was the standard unbranded cue ball 
at 5.71 ounces and at 2.23 in size. The standard non-branded cue ball was a surprisingly good overall performer. All players hanging this one just under the performance of the Aramith, with it feeling just not quite as precise with contacts. Next, we had Cyclops at 5.86 and at 2.24 inches. The Cyclops is clearly made of a different resin recipe than all the others. It's not only a difference that you can see in the reaction, but you can literally hear the difference when two balls collide. It's been described as having a more elastic or dynamic play, which we can all attest to. Next up was the Super Aramith Pro at 5.90 ounces and at 2.24 inches. Aside from the red circle, all of the Aramith branded balls felt exactly the same across all metrics which leads us to the Aramith measles ball at 5.93 ounces and at 2.24 inches in size. Also important to note, both the red and the black measles measured exactly the same on all metrics. And last, and no surprise, the oversized coin-op ball. Coming in at 6.74 ounces and 2.34, the oversized is nearly an entire ounce heavier than any other ball and well over an ounce heavier than the lightest ball in our lineup. That's a 15% greater mass than the object balls. It's also over a tenth of an inch larger than any other cue. It's a clear behemoth that creates conditions that feel like you're playing a completely different game. If there's one takeaway from this entire topic, it is this. Practice with what you'll compete with. For example, if you prefer an Aramith measles cue ball, but the pool hall you play at uses Cyclops, it'd be wise to invest in a Cyclops cue and spend time playing with it before a big match to get your game dialed in with those specific playing conditions. Also, get out there and gain experience with the various cue balls. It may sound like overkill, and we kind of felt like that going into this experiment, but after coming out the other end, we are all grateful we took the time to do the exercise, which grant us all an appreciable understanding of the differences, no matter how slight. And that is the Seeking Gravity cue ball comparison.